In this video, I'm going to teach you one adjustment that you can make out of your match coverage to make it absolutely lethal against 99.9% .9 of all formations that you're going to face. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And today we're in the 4-6 playbook. We're going to be talking about the nickel 335 wide version of this defense. The reason why is because of some of the adjustments that we can make specifically or uniquely out of the nickel 335 to 335 wide that makes this so good. Now, uh, if you want to get my full 4-6 defensive guide on this defense, I would really encourage you to sign up for my Patreon membership. There's a link in the description below if you want to check out that Patreon. For just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get access to everything that I do for Madden 22. Every offensive ebook, every defensive ebook, every pro player film breakdown, every single thing that I do. So I would really encourage you to get that. It really is a great deal, and it's helped a lot of people get better at this game. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about a poll uh, that I put out a couple of days ago, and I'm going to pull it up on my YouTube channel here uh, just to make sure that I have the actual wording of it right. But I was thinking about this one night, and I just kind of posted it on my community page, and I said, there's a quick match tip for everybody. Just man up the number three receiver, and a lot of it will start working better. And then I said, there's the full match ebook in my Patreon. Now, what I mean by that is... If you actually study match coverage, specifically quarters coverage, uh, which is the match out of 335 wide, this cover four show to you is quarters coverage, okay? So we're gonna come out in 335 normal. I like to put safeties at linebacker. We've already talked about this a lot. And many reasons why. Number one reason is because uh, they jump better, in my opinion. Number two reason is because we can cross man them and they're gonna be faster and they're just gonna be better in coverage, okay? So we're going to come out in 335 uh, wide, and then we're going to audible down to cover four short two. You see how good and quick of an audible it is. Okay, so my tip was to man up the number three receiver in any formation that you're facing, any trips formation you're facing, and you will find that this defense will play significantly better. So uh, how does this work uh, across different formations? Why is this the case? Well, um, if you take a look here at a standard bomb that is very good against bunch, is this clear out SE out with just a corner route right here? What you should see is circle uh, should get open, and you'll see here he does. Um, and then I'm going to show you an instant replay, kind of what the finding of this was, and then uh, why this is such a big deal. So uh, if I were to go into instant replay here, and we were to take a look a little bit closer at this, uh, what you're going to notice here is the number three. So when I say number three, that means the number one um, is number 18. Why? Because he's the first outside receiver. Okay. Number two is Chris Godwin. He's the second outside receiver. Okay. And then number three is Grukowski. He's the third outside receiver. And um, that's what I'm talking about when I say number three. On the left side, you only have two. You have one receiver here, and you have one receiver here. Now, if you think about quarters, um, this guy is in an outside quarter, and he's going to relate to number one. This guy is in an outside quarter, and he's going to relate to number two, only if number two goes vertical. If he doesn't go vertical, then he's going to come back over here and work to poach the bunch side. Uh, really, technically, he's actually going to be responsible for number three if number three goes vertical. And that's where this starts to break down against trip sets, even more so than spread sets. And I'll talk about both in just a little bit. Um, anyways, and then this guy right here. Uh, he's a quarter. He's going to relate to the number two receiver. Technically, in bunch, a little bit different, but it's kind of the same basic idea, okay? And then this guy's going to relate to the number one receiver, right? If the number one receiver goes on a corner route, 23 is going to take him. If number one goes on a vertical, he's actually going to pass him off to 29, and then he's going to take that corner route from 14. But the bottom line is, if you watch how this plays out, take a look at what happens here. Gronkowski goes vertical. Now, what should happen is 29 should pass him off to 20 okay he should be passing him off to this guy because number three went vertical so the number three quarter zone should be responsible for the number three receiver this match coverage breaks down and then we get this problem right here where you have a one play score over the top okay so the solution would be if you think about it to a combo like that uh the solution would be well go to cover four show two Take this guy right here, who's in great position to do this, by the way, and just man him up on the tight end. And then you can feel free to, you know, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and bluff blitz somebody to put the three wreck back on the field, and then I'm going to use her savage. So now you see here, this is a very, very good coverage. Now, if I were to go to that same bomb out of the clear out play, 
notice what happens. You're going to see here that it's perfectly defended and there's no there's no problems. There's no problems at all. Why is there no problems? Because we've simplified the defense for the computer to make it play better. Okay, We've simplified the defense for the computer by dealing with that number three receiver. The way defenses relate to the number three receiver, I will argue today, is the most important thing in defensive football in Madden. The way they relate to that number three receiver in trips is always the most important thing. Okay, so let's take a look at trips tight end, for example. So if we're in trips tight end, the same is basically true. You're going to see here, I'm going to go to cover four, show two. What I would do also, if you're going to run this, is wiggle this guy before you audible. Um, it's just going to help a little bit with the coverage. Uh, but anyways, if this is quarters, okay, let's say this is quarters, I'm going to run one of the most popular route combinations of the game. It's going to look like this, okay? If you watch this, you're going to see this number three receiver breaks the match down, and as you can see, this gets open. Now, another popular route combination. Um, so let me show you what I'm talking about, about wiggling this guy. So just move him just a little bit. You'll see then when you audible, he doesn't move, and there's no tell to the opponent. But now let's take a look at this other concept here. So let's say I wanted to run something like that. Okay, if you watch how this play works, this corner route to circle is going to break that match again. And as you can see, it's wide open. The number three receiver is causing problems because the quarter zones, they're in a bad alignment to be able to defend that. So what can we do? Well, we can do this. When I go to that, see how he moved right there? So that's why you want to wiggle him. Uh, but when I go down to this, now I can crash up. I can man up on circle just like that, and then I can drop a three rec. So you see it looks like this now, okay? Now what I'm gonna get, if you think about it, and I like to shade him a little bit to the inside because I know that the most popular play is gonna be a crosser. Now this may not stop the crosser, but it's gonna severely change how, they, how the whole entire defense relates to the rest of the routes on the field, okay? So notice this. Here you go, crosser. Now he's pressed manned, and now look at that man coverage just chase and take that away if you got a good safety that can man up there's a lot of good ones in ultimate team as you can see that's able to stop that concept okay and again this is an abbreviated version i'm going to be putting an updated version of this into my match defensive guide uh over the course of the uh probably today um i have some stuff on this as well in the guide already too uh that you're going to be able to see you know if you get the if, the if you get the patreon you'll be able to get access to all of it but now take a look at this corner route concept same kind of principle and now, oh, he's jammed, and it changes the way the defense relates to everything. And as you can see, it completely takes away that match meter. So um, you don't have to worry about how the defense is going to relate to number two, however. So if I were to send, like, let's say I have pop, like a PA boot overplay like that. Okay, let's do something like that. And we go to this setup right here. Now I've made up that number three. I put, I replaced the three rec, and I blitz my user. So it looks like this. You're going to see... Now the whole defense can change, and now look how the defense automatically will adjust to the number two. See, that is what I'm kind of getting at here, and that is why I love this concept. Now I'm going to show it to you against one of the most difficult formations to guard, uh, which is bunch tight end, because it is, um, it is just built around the number two receiver, technically, instead of the number three. Okay, So bunch tight end, PA boot over. I'm just going to set it up kind of the meta way, and we're going to do the same exact concept. Okay, we're going to man up that number three. The number three receiver in this example is going to be Mike Evans. We're going to stand here with our user. Watch how this will absolutely bag one of the best concepts in the entire game. Take a look at that. See how they automatically adjust to that number two, and they take away the crossing route. Same, same principle, right? Same principle. The player that messes match up is the number three. That is by far the most important player to deal with. So what I like to do is man him up. So that I don't have to worry about it. Just by manning them up alone, you will you will rarely ever get bombed out of match. Um, you, it's very difficult for bombs to work um, whenever you man this guy up. I'll show you this. This is a bomb concept, and what you should see here is quarters plays this absolutely perfectly, as you can see right there. And I didn't get a great throw animation. Let me show that one more time. But this is this is one of the best. Um, this is one of the best bombs in the game, but if you notice, again, we man up that slant. So what it does is it changes how zones react, mainly how match reacts 
to a slant route. So you see here, again, this is by far, in my opinion, the best bomb in the game. And what you're going to see is I don't have to guard anybody. I literally don't have to guard anybody. And as you can see right here, this is great leverage. We're going to be able to make a play on that all day. It doesn't matter if he has a route running ability. It doesn't matter what he's got. He's not going to be able to get over the top of that defense. So this is kind of the concept. Now, one last thing, and then we'll, and then we'll let you guys go again. If you want to learn the whole idea here, join the Patreon. It will tell you everything you need to know. Um, but let's talk about one last thing, and that is a spread set. Okay, so with a spread set, and this is why, or, or two by two type set, doubles or spread, um, the number three receiver is the running back, right? We have Mike Evans is the number one to the left, Chris Godwin is the number two to the left, um, and then on the right side, Gronkowski is the number one to the right, and Johnson or Gardner, um, or Johnson, I'm sorry, is the number, uh, or Johnson is the number one to the right, Gronkowski is the number two to the right, but then Leonard Fournette is the number three receiver. Okay, the reason this is important is quarters is going to work fairly well um, to this. I would go ahead and manually back off the outside. It just helps it play significantly better. Um, but what you want to do here is I like to go ahead and if you put this guy in a three rack, he'll automatically man up onto the running back. So that's one little tactic that you could take if you wanted to do that. Um, but what I like to do, again, same rules. We're going to man up the number three. So we're going to man up the running back. If you actually go back and watch most of the spread offenses, the way they're going to try to burn you is with some kind of combination like this right here. Okay, if you watch how this plays, you're going to see here that you don't have to worry about anything and you've got perfect defense across the board. So my point is, and the big takeaway here is if you are struggling, if you're if you don't know what to do, if you're in a formation that you don't know how to guard it um, and you're trying to run quarters, I would really recommend manning up the number three receiver, whether that's the running back, the tight end, a slot. It doesn't matter if you man that guy up. It is going to, I mean, it's going to significantly improve your coverage, uh, and it's going to definitely lessen the ways that they can burn you over the top. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I know it went a little bit long. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button below. And also, if you really like this video and you want to learn more about the match defense, you can get all of my Madden 22 eBooks for just 10 bucks a month by joining my Patreon. And in there is a match specific defensive guide i've also got a 335 wide full defensive ebook on the defense that you saw me running in this video so be sure to check out that patreon if you're interested uh, by if you want to check that out again just head on down to the description there's a link down there that you can click that'll take you right over to my patreon where you can get all signed up uh, for everything thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and uh and let me know how, let me know what you thought let me know if this works for you let me know if you've tried this out and uh and how it's working for you thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time